hello you guys so i just went to my fitting it is so hot like i can't even stay in the car right now because i just turned it off but i'm just about to head into like zip into walmart because i need to get toothpaste and iron pills and it's so funny i just wanted to come on here and tell you this randomly because if anybody knows i get this like rashy thing on the side this corner of my mouth if i don't take iron supplements and i looked it up before and it said that this can be caused by like an iron deficiency so i'm like because i used to get this and then i was like oh why don't i just try taking iron supplements so i tried and this goes away when i take the supplements but i have i ran out of iron for a week now and it's coming back and i'm like holy shit does this actually cause my like do I have like an iron deficiency? I don't know, but every time I don't take my iron pills, it comes back. And it's like painful, it's itchy and weird. But anyway, so I'm gonna zip in to get some iron supplements. They're literally just like iron supplements. I don't need a prescription or anything. I just picked them up. The funny thing is, is I didn't even realize I stopped taking the iron because I fill up my pill thing and I didn't realize I didn't put iron in there. And I'm like, why is this coming back? I've been taking my iron and then I look and I haven't been taking it. So it's actually kind of funny how this is actually happening because I have low iron or something, but I don't actually know. Maybe I should get my blood work done actually. That would probably be beneficial to me. Anyways, it's freaking hot. I'm not complaining about it, but let's go in and get my iron because I apparently need it. Fives are immaculate today, by the way. They're just like... Okay, so I just got home, but I ended up getting toothpaste. I just used Crest, it's not very exciting. But I ended up getting my iron pills, and I ended up getting biotin because I'm running out. And biotin, I think it helps my hair. It's supposed to help your hair, skin, and nails. I don't know if it actually does, but I just take it for extra measure. You never know if it really does. So. Somebody's getting paid, and free big slime out the cage. And shorty tried to play it cool, but now she wish she would have stayed. Cause every song that I made is ringing like I got engaged. Love my guys, I wouldn't trade. Ay, run the cradle to the grave. Ay, Gordo got me on the way. Ay, and got me on the way. Couple of hits, now you brave. What? You niggas better behave. What? All that pumping up your chest. What? All that talk about the best. What? You know how it's the kid kiss. You guys, I have a very exciting haul that I'm gonna be doing right now. So all these pieces that I'm about to show you are from Revolve and I am going on a tropical vacation very, very soon. So I decided to get a lot of like matching pieces that are gonna look really cute for my tropical vacation. So I'm gonna show you everything and I'm also gonna put all the links to the items down below. But yeah, I'm so excited to show you guys because I'm in love with the pieces so thank you so much to revolve for sending me all this so here is the first set i am absolutely in love with this it's very like vacation vibes tropical vibes i feel like skirts are just really in this year and i'm also obsessed with the pattern on this and this was just some sandals going for dinner at night or even just going to the beach is a vibe I'm obsessed. Okay, so here is the second set. This is actually like a two-piece dress because this, they're both like separate pieces, but this attaches with the string with the holes in the back here. So it's technically a two-piece, but when you put it together, it's a dress. So anyways, this is so freaking cute. Imagine this going for dinner after your tan and just like sun kiss. The open back here is so cute and I'm just obsessed with like matching sets like this but yeah i did get a lot of colors in this haul but i thought that i would switch it up with some black too because i always go back to like the neutrals and the darks anyway so yeah anyways this is such a vibe i'm obsessed and here is the next set that i got i am actually obsessed with this i've probably been saying this word 10 million times today but it's like crochet and it is so cute. Like if this doesn't scream tropical vacation set, I don't know what does. This also comes in white and like rainbow, I think. But I have really don't have anything like red and pinkyish tones like this. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go a little bit more bold. And I'm obsessed. I'm so glad I went with this color. And it's actually the cutest set ever. I'm gonna have to take a really cute picture in this for sure. Okay, here is the next thing that I got. So I got this dress and it is so freaking cute. Just like the color pattern on it is so different. It kind of looks like an art piece, honestly, to me. And the cutouts are so cute. It's so flattering. And I don't have anything that's this type of neckline. So I love how it's kind of like a one shoulder, but it kind of crosses over like this. I find it so flattering and cute. 
and also i got these shoes and can we just have a moment when i saw them online i was a little bit skeptical because i wasn't really sure what they would look like on but holy shit I feel like a literal supermodel in these because of just how chunky and cute they are. I'm actually obsessed and I'm probably going to be wearing them every single night on my trip. They're definitely going to be able to pull every single fit together. Like, are you kidding me? I think these are the actual cutest shoes I've ever worn in my life. I, like, saying I'm obsessed with these shoes is a complete understatement. If you're going to get anything from this haul, I suggest getting these shoes because trust me you will not regret it but yeah this dress i'm so in love with and these shoes just go so good with it these shoes will actually go good with all the outfits but this is just a whole vibe okay here is the next set i'm obsessed with this blue this is a little cute tie um wrap skirt and the material of this i just love so much and the color is just so cute especially for like a tropical vacation i paired it again with these heels because i'm obsessed they go with everything that I got and not just that but they're actually so comfortable so I'm in love and yeah this is so cute to wear to like dinner again or maybe just even to the beach one day over a bathing suit but the next thing that I got is this skirt I originally wanted to order like a, the matching top to the skirt that had like the exact same print but unfortunately it was sold out I think in my size I'm not sure if the other sizes are available so you can check on that if you want to get the matching top but I am absolutely obsessed with this skirt. It's just so flowy and the material is so freaking good and thick. It's kind of like ribs material, but it's so good. And I love the pattern on it. It's so different, but cute. Here's the next set that I got. I am literally obsessed with this one. It is so cute. It's a two-piece set, but it kind of looks like it can also be a dress because of how just like matchy it is you know what i mean and it kind of just like goes down so it could be mistaken as a dress but i'm actually obsessed with it and the skirt has built in like little shorties underneath so you don't need to worry about like flashing anyone because it is pretty short but yeah it's so freaking cute and i am actually obsessed with it okay then i got these three bathing suits i thought that i'd just show you like this because it's easier <laughs> so i got this one and it's so freaking cute it's a little bit high-waisted fits so nicely and it's so flattering and i love like the gold um, piece here in the middle and I love this one as well. It's just like a light pink color and I'm obsessed The top is pretty small though So if you're gonna get it and you have like bigger boobs I would probably size up on the top just because it is pretty small and then I decided to get like a black one piece just because i don't really have like a one piece and i feel like this would be super cute if it's just like a chill day wearing some gold jewelry with it and like a cute oversized shirt it's just kind of a vibe and i don't really have like a nice um one piece so yeah these are the three bathing suits that i got and i love them so much and these two are high-waisted by the way but yeah anyway so that wraps up the haul i'll have all my links for everything down below if you guys want to shop um, but yeah, hello you guys. So I'm just about to enter the Tim Hortons driveway drive through because I Am on the way to my parents house my family's house right now um, We want to book like a trip with all my with my siblings So I'm just kind of going over there so we can book it and I'm just gonna spend the day there to visit But I'm just stopping at Tim Hortons to get myself a Tim Beebs coffee because I actually really freaking liked it. This is my first time having my period with my IUD in So I'm kind of scared on what the day is gonna bring but I took like painkillers already and I'm just like crossing my fingers That it's okay that it's gonna be fine. I have some like I had some weird stabbing pain this morning But other than that like I've been okay like it hasn't been like horrible So it's not the worst thing in the world yet, but who knows what's gonna happen today So I'll keep you guys updated but yeah, I'm going on a trip and I'm so excited. Um, I know I haven't hit like 100k yet But I kind of want to make it like my 100k trip because by the time I go um, I should be hitting it then or Before we'll see but it's gonna be around that time anyway, so I want to kind of go on that trip to celebrate um, I would be going on regardless though just because I really want a vacation But I'm just gonna make it like that's gonna be my celebration for myself and I was just thinking hold on I got a order do you have the Justin Bieber cold brew? Yeah, what size? Um, can I do a medium but replace the cream with oat milk? Medium? Yes, please. Sir, anything else? Um, that's all. Thank you. Can I replace 35, Can I replace the cream with oat milk, please? Hello? 
girl i don't know if you guys just heard that but i ordered and i was like can i have it with oat milk and then i saw on the screen that she said cream and i'm like oh no can i replace the cream with oat milk please and then like she just didn't answer me she was gone so anyways so i was just thinking and holy shit like it is so important to take chances in your life and to kind of like risk things because if you don't if you if you don't take chances and you don't risk anything you're not going to be constantly evolving and some people are afraid of change but honestly change is what keeps you alive and it keeps you evolving to be better you know what i mean and so thinking back to when i moved out and when i made that decision to go with it even though it was like my parents were against me and that was like a really hard time for me um me going through that made me realize that like what good came out of me moving out in terms of like where i'm at with my youtube right now i feel like that's the really skyrocketed things and where i'm at with my mental health where i'm at creativity wise like i just feel like i'm at such a good place in my life right now and if i hadn't taken that risk and moved out and listened to the people that were against me then i wouldn't be as happy and i wouldn't be in the position that i am today and even though it was scary doing that it's like so rewarding in the end and i'm so happy that i did it and it's just so crazy because if you're manifesting something you can't really put a like a thing on it saying oh it can only happen one way because the way that the universe works it's gonna give you what you want and it's gonna deliver it to you but it may not be in the way that you were originally expecting it to happen it will happen though but that's why you have to be open to all possibilities and always keep an open mind with everything here we go i'm getting my drinks hold on Hi, five thirty five. Uh, awesome um i did say oat milk for the cold brew and i'm not sure if you guys got for the cold brew they're both oat milk okay thank you Thank you. You're sure this is oat milk, right? Just because I have Which a dairy. One? The dark roll? Yeah, no, this one. Just because I have oh, a dairy. Dark roll in, in oat. And no, this one. It's from the vanilla oat, oat, huh? No. Thank you. Geez, sometimes these two Hortons workers, like, not all the time, but sometimes I'm like, bye, have a good day, and they just don't answer me. Like, they just turn their heads and close the window. Like, thanks. Like, Okay. Anyways, what I was saying before is just so important to trust the universe and what it's doing for you and always just like be in tune with yourself and trust yourself and at the end of the day, your opinion is the only opinion that matters because there's going to be multiple people who are going to hold you back from what you truly want to do in life, but you can't let that affect you. You have to do you and follow through with what you want to do in life and the universe will reward you for that and yeah anyways i just realized like as a human being how important it is to constantly be evolving and changing and learning and not just being like stagnant not saying you have to like switch careers every five seconds or switch jobs or whatever but just like in maybe other parts of your life um try to always be evolving learning and growing and know that change is good and it's not a bad thing because it happens for a reason but anyways as i was saying obviously like it's normal to have moments and segments of your life parts of your life where you're not like evolving or changing and things are stagnant and that's okay that's could be normal for you and obviously we all go through times like that and that's fine but i'm just kind of saying when you have the opportunity to grow when you have the opportunity take it because if you don't then i feel like you'll regret it and that's how that's how you stay alive that's how you really enjoy life and grow as a human and it's just so cool how we're all experiencing this life together on this planet and it sounds so weird and woohoo but it's true yeah anyways i just got to my parents house so i'm going to go in and be here for the day but yeah pray for me that my cramps don't get any worse hello you guys so this whole day i literally had i needed to do get work done but i got my period and this was my first period with my iud and it wasn't like horrible like it normally is but i got hit still pretty hard because the iud takes like three months to fully kick in to stop to stop like your periods so since this was the first month it was a little better but it was still very pretty painful for me so anyways i was just like dying the whole day but now it's about like five o'clock and me and joel are going to the grocery store because we just have to get like a couple things like we ran out of dish, dish detergent for the dishwasher and just random things like that but then after we're gonna go to home depot or something like canadian tire because we want to do our deck we want to put like turf down and like make it all pretty and cute with lights so we're planning on doing that tonight so that's gonna be a fun time but yeah so we're just gonna run into the grocery store right now to get a couple of things and then we're gonna go to the shopping for the deck which we are excited about and this is the simple fit today i'm just wearing these aritzia flared pants with a white tube top
and then that's pretty much it because it's hot. So we don't actually know if they have turf here, so we're just coming in and hoping for the best because we really want to get a gen tonight. We just kind of got this urge. Hold on, what's this? A door. That would fit on our deck. We could literally, wait, can we actually put this in? It's kind of big though, it would take up the whole entire yeah, deck. Right. Then you have to like take care of it with chemicals and stuff like that. <laughs> So we ended up finding the turf at Home Depot. It took us a while because no one knew what we were talking about. I don't know why, but then I finally found it. And so we got that and then we got some tape so we can tape it to the deck. And then we got string light so we can put those on the deck as well. And then we got like an exacto knife so we can cut everything. Yeah, eventually I'm gonna add plants and everything. Just not today because we already got like a lot to do, but yeah, I'm excited because we just wanted to like make our deck a vibe so that when we sit out there and like watch the sunsets, it's gonna be really nice and vibey. We also gotta see what it looks like before we put a plant. Yeah, so like we don't really know how much space like where, and we kind of gotta have to map that out before we even like go and buy random plants. So we want to be very intentional with everything. Also got a vitamin water because I was craving. I was like really thirsty. how the deck turned out the grass honestly looks so good props to joel for doing such an amazing job with it because it was so hard to do and we actually ended up getting different light bulbs we then the original ones that you guys saw these ones are from canadian tire because the other ones were solar powered but they were super super dim and we just weren't happy with them so these ones are really bright and they're nice they really light up the whole deck and their plugins are not solar power, which sucks, but at least um, we know that they're bright and they work. So anyways, we're so happy with how it turned out and I am in love. It honestly just makes like this whole deck feel more cozy and homey and it's such a vibe. <laughs> 